So rickets. Rickets is a uh, brittle bone is, is I don't I don't want to I want to hesitate to call it a disease, but a brittle bone condition um, that's characterized by a lacking of vitamin D, which is what a vitamin that helps to process calcium. When I was young and as a kid, my parents had this food called green food that they made um, for us, and I was the firstborn, so I was the lucky child that they got to test it on. And they fed it to me, and it had all of the nutrients they thought that I needed. And they had tested it out, and it looked like it was really good. And they had part, and they ate it a lot as well. But then I, they found out that I was walking funny, and they saw me um, holding my wrist in a little bit of an odd way when I was around one, or I think it was around one, or two. And they said so they went to the doctor and said, "Okay, what's going on?" And they, he said that my bones were very weak, and that I had broken my hip and broken my wrist. And they were freaking out, wondering what had happened. And he looked into it and found out that I had had a vitamin D deficiency and the calcium in my blood was very high. He was actually worried for my life because of it. Um, and he, so they quickly changed the green food and get, get it, made it so that I was able to have that vitamin D that I needed. Um, but as a result, one of the things, I'm not sure how much you can see on the camera, uh, is my teeth. Um, my rest of my bones were fine. I haven't had a broken bone since. I've had a couple sprained ankles, but that's about it. But my teeth came out um, very, my adult teeth came out very yellow and very underdeveloped. It was very frustrating actually because I was more, I'm far more susceptible to get uh, cavities, far more susceptible to getting, um, to losing teeth later on. All of those things that people have because they don't brush their teeth, I sort of have in semi-developed state when I was younger. Um, since then, my parents uh, helped me. When I was a little bit older, my parents gave, and my teeth were just still developing, still building up. They started giving me on um, these treatments to help build up calcium and to cal recalcify my um, teeth. And a lot of them work. So now my teeth are well, they're not necessarily as large as other people's or as, as white, and they don't have as much calcium. They are far better than they were. I was very self-conscious about my smile for a long time because of it. But as long as I remembered to take the supplements to build to offset that, um, I was able to build up, rebuild up that calcium even as I was growing up. A lot of people feel like it's hard. You'll never be able to build up your teeth that you're set with the teeth you have. It's not quite true. If you have something similar to this, just find something that will give you the nutrients that you need to build up the, that, that calcium and you'll be able to offset that. I have, if you do have something like that, remember to brush your teeth more often than usual. Um, remember that you teeth aren't as strong necessarily, but it'll work out and it's okay. It's not something, if you're as a parent do this, then just keep pushing forward and just do what you need to.